Hey guys, it's Keely here with EJD Mahachuk. I just wanted to share some more quick tips about QuickBooks Online. Today I want to show you about keyboard shortcuts. So sometimes you might not want to click into the menus and select the items that you want, and it might be easier just to use the keyboard instead. So we'll start by hitting Control-Alt-I, which will bring us a new invoice. We can click Control-Alt-W, which will bring us a new check. Control-Alt-X will make a new expense. Control-Alt-R will receive a payment from a customer. Control-Alt-E will let you make an estimate for a customer. Control-Alt-L will bring you to your lists, which shows you your recurring transactions, your products and services, any custom forms that you've made. Clicking control alt a will bring you to your chart of accounts. Control-Alt-C brings you to your customers. Control-Alt-V brings you to your vendors or better known as suppliers. Control-Alt-F lets you find things. And Control-Alt-H opens up your help menu. There are also different shortcuts you can use within a transaction. So if we're gonna make a new expense, We can fill our expense out here. And clicking Control Alt D will save and close this expense. If we make another new one, we'll fill this one out. Hitting Control Alt S will save this one and then create a new one. Or you can hit Control Alt X, which will close it. Also, within your expenses or your invoices, in the amount tab, you can do calculations. So if I wanted to do a percentage, I can times it by 5%, which will give me my number. I can add numbers together, or I can subtract. So that's always handy there. There's also some features with the date. So in the date, I can click plus, and it'll take me to the next day. Clicking minus will take you back. If you hit T, it will bring you to today. Hitting Y will bring you to the beginning of the year. Hitting R will bring you to the end of the year. M will bring you to the first of the month. H will bring you to the end of the month. W will bring you to the first day of that week. And then K will bring you to the last day of that week. And that's all I've got to for today. I hope those are helpful for you.